Hey, welcome back to JB Breaks Free. I hope you're having a great day, a blessed day, and getting 1% better than yesterday, and breaking free from anything that holds you back from becoming the best version of yourself and from having the best day ever. It is possible to make massive, lasting changes in your life. So I've made them, I know you're making them too, and I got a way to go, and I'm enjoying the process, enjoying the journey. Got some stuff I want to talk about today that I'm really fired up about. A little bit different than usual. A couple topics anyways that I've been wanting to get into. Uh, before I get to those topics, which are, the first one's a little bit more normal. Seven powerful lessons from the book, The Richest Man in Babylon. That will change your life. This was the first or second book that I've read when I began my journey towards personal freedom, financial freedom debt freedom, um, I felt like I had unlocked like the ancient sea scrolls. Like, why couldn't they teach this in school instead of uh, decimals or fractions? I don't know, I, I get going on that, but it was just mind boggling uh, stuff. I would highly recommend the book. I'll give you seven lessons from it. I then want to talk about some benefits of eating raw food, raw diet, mostly fruits, vegetables, of course. Um, and seeds and nuts and I've just been really fired up about this topic lately I've read so many stories about how people have changed their lives completely have have overcome certain illnesses overcome diseases and, and chronic pain and I can't just snap my finger and go into it I never thought that I would be that sort of person but I guess you never think you would be ready until you are. And I know my good friend Pat eats um, vegan or vegetarian meals once or twice a week, once um, daily. And, you know, Paul McCartney has meatless Mondays. You know, there's so many benefits of just putting that into your life a little bit. And then I was reading, well, you can transition into it. It doesn't have to just go right today and, and goodbye forever, hamburgers and steaks. But this is something that I have been very interested in lately. Something I want to talk a lot more about on the channel, and I'll give 10 reasons why. And then I want to talk about rebounding. My rebounder trampoline that I was forced into getting because of the neuropathy in my feet, the chronic pain that I have and in lower back pain and neck pain, and it's a very low impact aerobic workout. And I need to become best friends with that thing. And I want to do more routines on this channel and hope that you maybe will be inspired to do them with me. You can do it without the trampoline, I suppose. Um, if you don't want to get one, you could just jog along and, and bounce along. But uh, I would recommend getting one, and I'll go into a number of different reasons why I think that is a good thing. But first, I am at 195 with Instacart and Spark Deliveries this week. I kind of threw a goal out there of trying to make 100 a day. Um, today and yesterday, I made about 80. Um, 80 each day and plus like 35 or 40 ish on Monday so I'm at 195 for the week that's fine uh, my goal this week would be 300 bucks if I were to make 80 the next two days that would be like 360 not even counting probably one or two I do on Saturday it'd be almost $400 outside of my main job of waiting tables which gives me the freedom of having Tuesday and Wednesday night off this week and I'm happy to make that trade um, I did go into the thrift store real quick. I found six of these books. This is the Homemakers Encyclopedia. And there's 12 books in the set. These gotta be from the 50s, I would think. Um, they're illustrated. You can just see like, what of a cool 50s vibe that is. And people like this stuff because it's, it's old. It, it's kind of a window into the past. Certainly gender roles have changed. The woman there sitting by the window all day, right? How funny is that? Beauty and charm. And then this one, housekeeping made simple. I'm gonna keep this one and give it to my wife. Um, she needs a lot of practice on this. Look at these pictures of women in the kitchen. Look at her cleaning the blinds right there. I'm gonna definitely show my wife that one. And uh, I'll probably get hit over the head with this book, so I'll have to sell them fast. But let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five of them. 
could maybe grind out ten dollars a piece on them if not a little more or I could easily sell those all together for 25 bucks and make a quick twenty dollar bill shooting into the thrift store today so not bad but let's get into the topics for today seven powerful lessons from the book the richest man in Babylon that can change your life number one pay yourself first uh, the book recommends minimum of 10 percent Dave Ramsey is going to recommend 10 to 15 percent as we go further on um, into our debt-free lives and financial freedom journeys you can save upwards of 40 50 60 people save more than that I try to save around 50%. Sometimes it's a little lower, sometimes it's a little higher, but that's earth shattering to live on only one income or to save half of your own income is, is possible. I'm a waiter and uh, my wife's a teacher and we can do it. Number two, make your money work for you. Invest wisely. Every dollar that you have that you earn is an employee. And if you put it under the, under the uh, mattress, it's not working for you. If you put it in the bank in a savings account, it's not working for you. That's what my grandpa used to tell me, you know, you get some interest, you put your money on there, it's a couple pennies more at the end of the year. You gotta invest. No one ever taught me how to invest. No one ever told me to invest. I didn't think a waiter could invest or should invest. And I did a lot of research, do your own research, but what I came up with was taking the total stock market, um, VTSAX through Vanguard, having a stock in bonds like 70-30, 80-20, 60-40, whatever you're comfortable with, and Put your money to work and even though the stock market has been hit through covid and and through recently uh, we have made money in the stock market and yes it's going to go up and down but during the long haul the stock market has gone up over the course of its history number three seek the counsel of experts um, to get advice on your investments on risk and you know i'm not saying i'm the expert on that but i have done a lot of research and done a lot of reading this book included that can put you on the path to wealth so seek the counsel of experts number four increase your ability to earn if you earn more you can invest more and if you invest more you, your money can work for you more and you can make more money and you can achieve freedom sooner or some sense of freedom sooner if not completely free number five live within your means I like how it says live within your means I would put live below your means um, don't spend everything that you make or worse don't spend more than you make this family spent more than it made for a long time and now we save about half of what we make what a drastic turnaround how much free our lives are if that wasn't the case and I had dropped down and losing Tuesdays and Wednesdays of waiting tables and I wasn't getting up off the couch to side hustle we'd be in deep trouble but saving a certain amount of our income and living below our means and not having any bills any debts you have a certain sense of freedom where you don't need that much money to survive you can get out of the rat race on a certain amount of days work part-time doing what you love and then you know put it all together number six have a financial plan have some goals your journey needs a destination um, some of our goals were to have save one thousand um, dollars that emergency fund then to build up your emergency fund to a month three months six months have it fully funded um, our goals were to pay off debt consumer debt car debt house debt loan debt um, our goals were to save a certain percentage of our income and to just kind of take the pressure off everyday life and escaping the consumerism to break free from that and and live a happy and peaceful life and that is working out and number seven protect your wealth diversify minimize your risk do your own research um, and I think those are all great seven lessons right there you put those seven lessons into play in your life and you are going to be on the path towards financial freedom now getting into some topics I don't really talk about let's talk about some benefits of eating a raw diet and let's talk about some benefits of aerobic rebounder exercise why eat raw I don't even know what clicked in my head what, what made me think of this but it jumped into my head I was inspired to think about it I was inspired to talk about it I'm excited about it this is not of course the only way to be 
There's plenty of other good ways. It doesn't mean you have to be fully raw. I think a lot of people on this diet eat 70 to 80 to 90% raw, but still other things. Some of the benefits of eating raw, it can strengthen your immune system. I like this. Number two, raise your vibration. I've been thinking about that, and I think you just get down, you start putting those living nutrients into your body. You start eating clean. Um, you start feeling the positive effects of that, treating your body right, um, and pairing that up with maybe some yoga, some stretching, some long walks, some rebounding, which we're going to talk about. You're going to give off that peaceful, healthy, loving vibration. Raise that vibration up. I know that that's... That's something to shoot for. A lot of people's vibrations right now I know are, are down. Um, you just see it throughout the day with what you come across on social media or, or in the grocery stores or, or driving around town. If everyone's vibration could be raised up, what uh, benefit the world, how it would benefit the world. Number three, break your emotional attachment. Underline the word attachment to food. Attachment leads to suffering, right? Because once it comes away from us, we suffer. We want it back. There's nothing in this world that is ours. And certainly our attachment to food is one that we should be able to cut, to be to break free from that attachment. And I know I have an emotional attachment to food. It brings out, um, you know, you can eat because of stress. You can eat for pleasure. You can eat not mindfully and just mindlessly eat in front of the TV and, and not thoughtfully. But to eat raw, I think it's going to break that at emotional attachment and it's going to start making you more mindful and eating more intentionally and feeling better about yourself where you won't need that emotional attachment. Number four, to function at your peak performance. Uh, I wish. I want to get back to my peak performance. To run, to jump, to play to get up and down without pain. Um, I miss those days. And if this diet could help reduce pain and inflammation, um, I'm all for it, it excites me. Especially paired up with the rebounder that we're gonna talk about. Number five, detoxify your body. Um, all the the negative toxins that are bringing us down for what we put into our body, what we consume, detoxify it, you're gonna feel better. Number six, to reverse the signs of aging. I guess you get to be 43 and you know you start noticing a little bit. Your hair's getting much more gray, which I'm fine with. Sometimes I wonder if it was the hard life that I've lived that have aged me a little bit quicker. I used to smoke, used to drink, used to party a lot, used to play hard in just sports and put my body through stuff in my 20s that I probably didn't have to go through. Um, you know, it's something to think about and who wouldn't want to, you know, look and feel younger? I I'm curious about this diet. Number seven, to reach your body's natural weight. I truly feel like my body's natural weight is anywhere from probably 160 to 180, preferably 175-ish, and I'm like 190, uh, over 190 now, which is about the most that I've ever been, so I'd like to get down to my more natural weight. Number eight, to save time and to save money. I think if I were to cut out all the BS the coffees, the donuts, the cookies, the candy bars, the going out for ice creams, all the bad food that I wouldn't have to consume anymore, I think it would be a wash as far as time and money goes, I'm hoping. Number nine, to have unlimited energy to fight fatigue. I wanna feel like that every day. I feel like I'm on a good roll right now, but I know I can be 10 times more energetic and therefore um, be 10 times more impactful on my life and others. And finally, to help the environment, it's gonna lessen your carbon footprint. You're not gonna be eating as much meat and you're not gonna be using as much processed food and packages like that. 
I think those are 10 benefits that I am really excited to dive into. I want to start this challenge of having at least one raw meal every single, well, for the next seven days, I should say. So I'll show you my first raw meal that I'm going to do, and this hopefully is the start of a beautiful journey. took I've taken the right step and it feels good to take the right step and and to make yourself feel better to fuel your body which is a temple and the next way that we can do it is through this guy right here my rebounder trampoline it's great I love it I want to start using it more I want to start posting routines on this channel inspiring people to get more active I often regret not starting this channel um, as I was eliminating my debt. I wish I showed more of my break free from debt journey when I was just in the weeds of it, over 100K, over 80K, and just doing everything I could, scraping and clawing to get back to even and then start building our wealth. But there's other journeys that I've taken, I've taken more of a mental health journey so far up to this, becoming happier, I wanna get healthier, and we talk about becoming the best version of ourselves on this channel, and we can do it through a positive diet, through keto, through eating raw, we can do it through walks, we can do it through lifting, through body weight exercises, and from that rebounder back there. I want to give you some benefits of it and then I'll go through a quick little routine that I'm going to do. Okay, so there's just numerous benefits of rebounder workouts. Um, it's twice as effective as running for aerobic fitness. It's going to burn calories faster. Um, what I like is it's just not something that people with in my position have to do who really can't run, who have you know bad back, bad neck, neuropathy chronically constantly in my feet there's ways that we can defeat it i i'm not giving up on that yet um i'm gonna do this workout and i'm gonna change my diet and we're gonna go from there it's gonna enhance digestion and elimination to rid your body of toxins rebounding is going to stimulate your metabolism which is going to burn help you burn more calories throughout the day it's going to lower your cholesterol it can reduce cellulite it's going to keep lost pounds off it's going to help prevent emotional eating. Um, it's going to regulate your mood so you don't sit down all disturbed and feel like you have to stuff your face with cereal for me, you know, treats, got to have a sweet tooth. But there's ways to combat those cravings and there's ways to prevent emotional eating. And I think we can do that through raw diet. We can do that through rebounding. It's going to increase your stamina to keep you going throughout the day. Therefore, you will lose more weight. It's going to burn calories. It's going to flatten your stomach. It's going to have a domino effect of other healthy choices. Um, it's easy to do. You just bounce up and down very basically, and there's more complex moves also. Um, it's portable. I can move it from there. I can move it outside if I wanted to, any room of the house. 
in front of the TV if I want to. Not in front of the TV. Very nice to just pick up. It's uh, perfect for hit high interval, high intense interval training. Um, it's going to reduce inflammation. It's going to help build your self confidence. It's going to strengthen your heart. It's going to circulate oxygen. It's going to lower your blood pressure. Rebounding is going to increase your lung capacity. It is going to improve your balance. And I know as we get older, falls can take you right out. There's been a few times where I could have fallen and really hurt myself at this age. And I know once you get 20, 30 years older, falls are no joke. Uh, they took a few of my grandparents right out. So improving balance is absolutely huge. Um, it's going to improve your immune system. Health is wealth. Uh, it's going to reduce the risk of chronic disease. If I can inspire anyone to pick up this rebounding and it's going to decrease their chance for chronic disease, then I've done my job. And hopefully it can improve my chronic pains. It's going to improve sleep. It's going to help you quit smoking. It's going to reduce the urge to ruminate on the past. Been there, the thought loop, the monkey mind, stay present. It's going to reduce your risk of cancer. And I figured I would end on this one. It's going to help maintain your independence. 30 minutes a day on a rebounder trampoline is going to help you maintain your independence. As we get older, we don't just want a lifespan. We want a health span. And we want to be free, to break free, to be able to do what we want to do throughout the day, to live at home, to be able to go out into the world to function. And we can start those, preparing for that right now, to get as healthy as you can right now. Come on the journey with me, and I can't wait to take it with you. I hope you're having a great day. Do a little rebounding right now to show you, and I will talk to you on the next video. Break free. Thank you.